Maximum football. I would be excited if I was you guys. Maximum football is right around the corner. And man, oh man, when it drops for free to the public, the community is going to go crazy. They're trying to stay under the radar, silent, developing, you know, polish the game up more, making sure everything's good to go on release. And they're going to blow a lot of people's minds away with what they have done with Maximum Football. I mean, a lot of people wanted this game to drop before college football release. But guys, this is not the case. They're not going to rush something that we don't like, right? And of course, they don't want to rush something that is broken where they have to continuously update the game like EA does. They want to make sure that when they release this free game, it's polished up, it's good to go, and it's a satisfaction feeling for the first time experiencing this game. They want to make sure they come out with a bang. You don't want to have a rush product that is not pretty much polished up. And they don't want to have a backlash for a lot of issues because they rushed and released a product that they know that they can take their time on and make sure they do everything right and have everything well done. And honestly, guys, this game, once it releases, like I said, it's going to blow your guys' mind away. And honestly, I think they're waiting for the right time, especially after college football is released and possibly Madden, and see the downfall of both games is to release their game and expect all the people that is pretty much shining away from EA is going to come over to this game. It's a new company. It's a new game. And it's going to be another competitor that a lot of people is going to pretty much enjoy once it comes out. Because honestly, I think at this point in time, everybody's tired of how EA develops their games. And it's just a rinse and repeat cycle. We want something new. We want something fresh. And we want something that is cater finally to gameplay focus and not only is this game gameplay focus but they focus on the one major mode which is dynasty and we have team customization people a very in-depth detail which you guys are seeing here i mean yeah we're going to get in college football with team builder being back possibly madden but look how long it took for them to implement that back and yet, Maximum Football previewed this a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure this scared EA. This really scared EA. At least this game commits to listening to the community, especially when it comes to feedback. They want to make sure that they respect the community and deliver based on what the community wants. When has a company done that? When has EA ever done that? One thing that's going to sell me, not only did they sell me already on Dynasty team customization and partial gameplay, with the gameplay being in mind, the one thing that's going to really sell me is how they're going to implement the physics collision system. Now we've seen the script animations and how it flows together so far. And of course, when I beta tested or test played this game a year ago, yes, a year ago, I tested this game. Um, the physics was turned off, so they really haven't showed the physics aspect when it comes to collision. And I can't wait till they do that because I want to see how polished it is. I want to see how well done it comes out. How is the script animations going to convert to when physics collide together? That's going to be the key thing that's going to be a selling part for me when it comes to gameplay. And um, I can't wait for how it's going to you know, come about when they showcase it. So hopefully they really polished up on that. But as far as what they have been showcasing us, you know, with the lineman interactions, the gameplay in general, the 
receiver animations, DB reaction animations, all that stuff. Every little detail in every department, it's really looking good. It's looking very smooth. Um, even when I played it at that time a year ago, it still ran pretty smooth, even though they had a bunch of stuff that was like locked out. Um, you guys see a little bit of this gameplay footage, and so far it's looking very, very good. And, you know, the speed, like I said, it's going to be that college um, fast-paced style, which I love. Hopefully they have um, a slider where you can tweak the speed, where it can be slow is slow, you know, normal, fast, just like how Madden used to implement that. And much more so I'm really looking forward to this game and see how it initially kicks off so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments are you super excited for this game what are you looking forward to um I think one thing that may ruin this game or may make this game stand out is the online head-to-head -head. um I know that they're going to present it in this first um roundabout for this release because in the past with maximum football they didn't really have online head-to-head -head. um so if they go about it with this i just hope that the leaderboards reflect based off win loss ratio and is done correctly for a ranking system but i feel like they shouldn't have had that for this first year probably implement it in the update later on but it is what it is let them do what they want to do now, of course, a lot of people going to want head-to-head, -head, but I feel like leave that away from now because a lot of people going to look for glitches and exploits and ruin the game. So hopefully it doesn't come down to that. But who knows what happens. Anyways, till next time, I'll see you guys later. I'm out. Peace.